Welcome to the most anticipated video on my channel ever. It's been a while. I haven't uh, uploaded since I have moved. Uh, yeah. If you aren't aware, I am a fan of flags. And I'm going to rank every country's flag that at least appears on this list. So, first one, Andorra. Pretty bad. When you put all that messy stuff, you know, lots of detail, usually not a big fan. United Arab Emirates. You know, it's basic, but it's not bad. You know, there are a lot of uh, Arab countries with the these colors, and I know there's a reason for that, but I couldn't tell you. But yeah, it's you know, it's kind of cute. They all keep the same colors. Not all these countries are the greatest, but their flags. They got a they got a cool little scheme going on. We got uh, a <laughs> the most likely to change flag of Afghanistan. I'll put it in the same. Actually, I'll put it a low a lower tier than that because it's got the messy stuff in the middle. Next, we got Antigua and Bar Barbuda. Don't don't quote me on how that's pronounced. A lot of people don't like this flag, but I find it pretty cool. It's it's unique. It's not super messy. The colors are also unique. And it's got like a sun over the water. Uh, I'll put it in B. I think that's higher than a, a lot a lot of people would put it, but I'm a, a fan of it. And then Albania flag. Some people don't like it. A lot of people do. I am in the group of people that do. I'm going to put it in S tier for now. Um, I might move it down to A. I, I'm going to do some reorganizing at the end. I'm going to have some controversial flag choices because I like them more than other people. So this is uh, Armenia. Uh, really fucking boring. I'll put it there. You know, this is kind of like the too messy uh, tier. F is going to be just like absolutely abysmal, ugly flags. Uh, and yeah, you'll, you'll see. This is Angola's flag. Um, it's, it's, it's basic. I could go without this. Maybe if you just had just the star in the center. I'm sure this symbolizes something, of course. Kind of like this. So if you had the black and the red, and then you had a star in the center like that, that would be way cooler, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to put it at the top of that tier. This, of course, is Argentina. A lot of people like it. I don't. It goes in the messy tier. You know what? Honestly, I'm going to put Auto it below shut down initiated. And auto shutdown initiated on my headset. Let's go. Auto shutdown canceled. My canceling that. My God. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's pretty annoying. This is Austria's flag. Very basic. Lamest of these three, but it's not messy. And I, when I think of a flag, I kind of think of like, what's it going to look like waving on a flagpole, you know? And just the cleanerness of this makes it more appealing to me than some of these other ones. Australia, stupid flag. You literally have another country's flag on your flag. So, yeah, there's that. Azerbaijan, my second favorite country to pronounce. Uh, I will point out my first favorite when we get there. Uh, as far as the flag goes, it's in the top tier of these so far. Honestly, I like that one better. So we'll put that there. Uh, yeah, let's move on. This is, fuck, I want to say that's, no, that's not the Marshall Islands. No, 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 no. Hey, pretend I never said that. Bosnia and however the fuck you pronounce the other part. It does have my favorite color in it, but what is going on? Can you explain this to me? I have no idea what's going on if you don't explain it to me. Better than Australia's, but not impressed. Uh, Barbados. I like it. 
you know, it's got the simple, th well, two colors, three lines, and instead of something messy in the middle, you got this cool little, like, trident or whatever it is. So I will put that here for now. Uh, honestly, that might be B tier, bottom B. Um, yeah, Bangladesh. So fun fact about Bangladesh's flag, the reason that this circle is off center is so when it's waving on a flag, it looks like it's in the center. So I think that's actually pretty cool. I'll put it at the bottom of B because it's really, the color scheme is ugly, but for the fact that the reason the circle is offset for a cool reason is why it is B tier. Belgium, boring, but basic. Uh, I like horizontal lines better than vertical lines typically, so sorry. Uh, what the, what is this flag? Burkina Faso, probably butchered that. Didn't know this flag, but uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, better than this one for the reason that I stated prior. I don't like the colors as much. It's not better than this one. Just cause I don't like the red and green. I don't like the red and green with Bangladesh, but it looks better and the, yeah, cooler. Those are my words. Uh, Bulgaria, really boring, really basic. The colors are bad, putting it below Belgium, in my opinion. And yeah, Bahrain, kind of cool. Um, I think I want to put it there for now. It's, it's different, it's simple, it's two colors. Not too much going on. Not a bad flag, not a great flag. Let's leave it at that. Burundi. Still not a fan of the color scheme. Green and red. Who's, whose idea is that for so many countries? Obviously, there's reasons for it, but does not look good. I, uh, I'm i going to put this at the top of F so far. Pretty, pretty ugly flag. Pretty ugly flag. Benin. Also a very ugly flag. You got a lot of, like... Uh, Eh, you know, there's a lot of like South America and African countries with the green, yellow, and red, and it corresponds to each other same same way that the uh, red, green, white, and black correspond to Arab countries. So that's kind of cool. But as far as the flag goes, ugly, worse than Argentina's. Now, this Auto next one initiated. is going to be Auto shutdown controversial Mic on. Mic for off. probably most. But this is my favorite country flag. Not a good country. I'll give you that. But I am a big fan of that flag. So let me break it down. If you are unaware, yellow is my favorite color. Black is my second favorite color. And white might be my third favorite color. So, pretty cool. Honestly, I'd like it better if it didn't have this thing in the middle. The fact that it's got just two lines going diagonal off center. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's leave it at that. My favorite country flag. Bolivia. Bad country, bad flag. I do like it better than... Benin though oops I do like it better than Benin just uh you know the classic horizontal flag look sometimes can you know this guy's trying to be Texas but not as cool Brazil Brazil is obviously an S tier flag Minecraft cheaters praise it so it must be pretty good uh not I don't like it better than these two so I'll keep it there the Bahamas I do like the color scheme. It is out there. Um, I, you know, you got your your diamond or your triangle rather, 
which is of course not the only flag to feature that as you can see down the line many flags do that I am going to put it top of C so far Bhutan a lot of people don't like Bhutan it's awesome a tier come on dude yes the dragon is messy but it's a fucking dragon what do you mean dude it's a dragon it's cool orange and red I like it it's a good flag Botswana, you know, not bad. For African country flag, most of them are worse. Uh, it definitely goes in the basic flags area, but I would put it right there. You know, they got that, that extra little detail on your center line. Kind of kind of cool. Uh, Belarus, yes, this is Belarus. Uh, you actually can't see the whole flag. Let me look up the Belarus flag. So you guys can see the whole thing. Because you probably don't know. Or you might. But anyway, this is the full Belarus flag. It's alright. You know, this is kind of snazzy over here. I don't really know what this means. Probably green fields and lots of sun. Something like that. Not my favorite. I say it goes in the D tier of flags. Um... Right above Argentina. And then everybody knows Belize flag sucks ass. Everybody knows Canada's flag is cool. Uh, honestly, ooh, it's a hard choice for me to put Canada above um, fucking... What the fuck? Albania. Because I am a fan of Albania's flag. Canada's, is, of course, more iconic, but it's literally just Peru with a maple leaf. So, uh, I'll keep it there. The Albania placement, well, I don't think too many people will agree with it, but that is all right with me. Uh, I want to say this is Aruba. I think they've changed their flag more recently than this. Let me check. Aruba flag. That's Aruba's flag. That's no, that's definitely something different. I'm being s okay. That's why. That's the Dominican Republic of the Congo's flag. My apologies. Uh, I would say this is uh, p probably in the D tier. I don't like the the color combination it's kind of it's kind of on the Azerbaijan level for me personally uh, Central African Republic there's a lot going on here and a lot usually doesn't mean a good thing uh, it's but it's yeah it goes right there auto shutdown initiated auto shutdown cancel Republic my gone my golf you know, it rocks the African country colors. I I like the diagonal more than the Texas Im imitation and then the horizontals. So it goes right there. Switzerland. S tier flag. Everybody recognizes Switzerland flag. It's an awesome one. It's one of the, I think, yeah, it's one of the two square flags. The other, of course, being the Vatican City. Pretty cool pretty cool uh, this is not Ireland what is this this is Cote d'Ivoire so Cote d'Ivoire boring yeah you heard it here first it's like right there boring stuff uh, almost Texas Ch Chile you know boring but you know it's 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 right there Next to Cote d'Ivoire. Next one's like, uh, it's an African country for sure. Cameroon. Cameroon, funky looking shape of a country. I kind of like it. Their flag, honestly, you look at all these other ones, these African ones, I like this one. It's got its three horizontal and then the yellow star. 
you're going to do that color scheme, seems like kind of one of the better ways to go. I'm not contemplating. No, I think I'll keep Azerbaijan there. Uh, China, not, not a good flag. Sorry, China. Sorry, not sorry. Your flag sucks. I'm pretty sure you guys stole it from somewhere else. I can't remember where. But, yeah, pretty uh, boring. Where to put it, though? Where to put it? It's a more recognized flag, that's for sure. Um, it's so bad, though. Honestly, the funkiness of this one is better. These are just so terrible behind it, so, yeah. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say about China's flag. Really boring. Colombia. Also really boring. It's better than China's flag, though. Honestly, bottom of D so far. A lot of D tier I'm seeing. I have to change things around. So, this is not Thailand. This is a uh, mess. This is Costa Rica. It's not actually showing the full Costa Rica flag. Let me show you that. Oops. Costa Rica flag. It's got this little uh, emblem thingy on it, which makes it worse, actually. So I will be factoring in the actual look of the flag. Uh, it's pretty bad, in my opinion. Boring. I will put it bottom of D. Popular place right now. Popular place. Cuba. You know, this... This one might be a C tier. Yeah. It it it's like uh right there. Then right here we got Cape Verde. It's alright. You know, it's got the red, white, and blue with the yellow stars. It's quirky. It's got its line, skinny lines down off center. Um uh I put it right there. Cyprus. Very cool flag. What's more badass than putting your country on your flag? The shape of your country, which is a pretty cool looking one. And then I don't know if you've ever seen this, but like let's do the state in which I live. Alaska Cyprus Cyprus. I don't know. I think that's how you spell Cyprus. Close enough. Oh, I put the P in R. Anyway, I did it back backwards. But it's a, uh, you know, other other uh, countries have these imitation ones. They're kind of cool. Auto shutdown anyway, initiated. That's all. I really like Cyprus's Auto flag. It's pretty canceled. cool. Mic on. Mic off. When then we have Czechia, no longer the Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia. Czechia, basic, basic and boring. You know, I I put it uh, I put it above Chile because I kind of like the triangle and flag sometimes, sometimes. Germany. They got they're in the basic tier. I like the I like the colors of Germany, so I put them right there. Djibouti. Funny funny name for a country, if you ask me. It's got it's got the triangle, it's got the star, questionable color co uh, colors here for the flag. You know, do they go well together? That's up for you to decide. If you ask me. You might not like my answer. It's so of course this is a, definitely a D tier flag. And where in D tier D tier does it deserve to be? Is the question. Bottom so far actually, Denmark. Now I am a fan. I am a fan of the Nordic crosses on flags. 
Denmark, I'll put in bottom of A. Yeah, Dominica, way too much going on here. Best of the F tier so far. You know, all right, I, I'm, I'm going to move this up. I'm going to move this up. And this might be controversial, but I just envisioned this flag on a flagpole. And you know what? I want to see it. Dominica flag on flagpole. I bet it looks pretty cool. Yeah, that that does look pretty cool on a flagpole. What, you know, let's give it that. Let's give it that. And fun fact, this is a good picture for it. It is one of not, it's not the only one, which you will hear a lot of places say, but it is one of two flags, country flags, to have purple in it. The other of which being, uh, you know, we'll get there when we get there. This one, uh, the other one is just in a rainbow, technically, but there is purple on it. So, yeah, Dominica is cool in that regard. It has purple on its flag. I am going to put this in B tier. I'm going to put it in the third of your B tier. The Dominican Republic. Personally, not a fan. I put it right there. This is not Pakistan. This is, this is, uh, it's Algeria. I knew that. I didn't need to look over. That is Algeria. It's got this, uh, moon crest with a star that you're going to see on many more flags to come. We've already seen it right here, but you're going to see this exact one on many more flags to come. It's uh, not the worst. Better than, I would say, a lot of these D-tier flags. The colors combination, really wild, really funky, not a fan. It's funky in a bad way. Let's put it that way. I'll put it right Honestly, right above, I'm debating putting it above Argentina or Czechia. I'm thinking above Argentina. It's cooler, that's all I have to say. I wanna say this next one's Ecuador. No, that's not Ecuador. Let me uh, confirm here this next flag. After, I burp. Uh, well, shoot, I can't remember what flag this is. There are too many that look just like it with different, like, crests on them. Whatever, I'm not finding it. And if your flag's that unrecognizable, you don't deserve... It is Ecuador, okay. It is Ecuador. I was right. Uh, Honestly, I just, I just find it worse. I find it find it worse than Colombia just because I don't like that messy stuff on it now okay so this holy fuck this is Estonia okay and Estonia I know the reason for the colors on Estonia's flag Estonia land auto shutdown initiated winter the reason for this look that's that's like the landscape so if you see that and then you see the flag that is that's exactly why it's pretty cool plus it's just cool colors for a flag in that so i i like it i will put it a potentially controversial a tier i am a fan all right this next flag not egypt i want to say that no, it's, no, it is Egypt. That is Egypt. Uh, it's, you know, it's all right. Horizontal lines, you know, I'll give it that. Uh, it's definitely in the D tier. And I think I'm going to have to do some rearranging in D tier real quick. So I'm going to put that there. Yeah, I'm going to have to change some of these, I think. This is going to go... Uh below that this is going to go better than Cote d'Ivoire these stay about the same Azerbaijan whatever this country was 
This might have to do some moving as well. Anyway, that's that. Mm, Jordan, I want to say this this next flag is Jordan, potentially. Let me confirm. Oh my god. I pressed the back button. There are so many flags like this. Anyway, this is uh it's it's I'm pretty sure it's Jordan. So we've got uh where's our UAE flag? It's right there. See, this has got the mess on it though. Uh I will put it there. Yeah. Final answer. Final answer for now. Next. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it starts with an E. Yeah, that's all you get out of me. I don't know how to pronounce that country. Sorry. I uh, don't like this flag. Um, I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Bad. Spain. Spain, a recognizable flag for most for many i don't know about most it's embarrassing how many people don't know any flags this is probably going to be a b tier personally not as good as it could be if you look at it from just a flag standpoint not impressive ethiopia uh it's not terrible I don't like it as much as the regular star and for that reason it is going just above the diagonal flag Finland good stuff it's going in the Nordic the Nordic group and actually I'm gonna put Estonia above the Nor these Nordic flags at least and I do like Denmark's better uh, garbage flag yeah Fiji? Bad. Fiji was actually going to change their flag. Fiji flag change. Let's see if it'll pop some images. Yeah, these were proposed Fiji flags, all of which being cooler than the current one. But the reason they didn't do it is because they like won a gold medal in the Olympics or something, and then everybody had flag pride and blah, 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 blah. And so now they're stuck with a really, really bad flag. Uh, it's it's worse than Australia's. I, it's worse than Belize. Everybody puts Belize last, but come on, this is so ugly, so ugly. All right, I'm just uh, struggling to remember what this flag is. I'm looking it up. Micronesia, simple, blue and white. I do, I do like that. I'm gonna put it above Spain be with it what you will uh, France obviously an iconic flag but a basic flag uh, I'm going to put it in the basic flag tier and I'm going to put it below Botswana which people might be like really but come on red white blue three horizontal lines that cool um, what is this country? Gabon. Bad flag, buddies. Bad. You don't even stick with your red, yellow, green like all your other friends in Africa. So, bad. Not, not a good flag. Because, uh, yeah, it goes right there. You know, props to the UK to literally having their flag on one, two, uh, three, four, probably more different country flags than your own. So that's pretty iconic. Everybody recognizes it. Everybody knows it. It's, a, it's an iconic flag. I will put it above the Nordic flags. next flag don't know that one i'm looking it up as we speak just realized a lot of you probably won't even care what country these flags are you just want to 
you want to see how it looks and then see where I place it. Actually, a lot of you just don't want to watch this video at all. Probably. Probably won't get many views. But uh, this is a really bad flag. I'm going to put it just above that just above that one, just below China. Georgia. I like Georgia's flag. Georgia, it's a it's a B-tier flag. It's simple. It's kind of unique. It's not super unique. Uh, I will put it at the top of B for now. Ghana. It's a, uh, yeah. You can see... You can see why that one's placed there, I think. I think you can figure that one out. Gambia. Gambia. Or the Gambia. I would say potentially cool shaped country, mayhaps. Pretty cool. Let's look it up. Gambia. Uh, on a map. So this is Gambia completely surrounded by Senegal in the ocean kind of cool it just wraps around this the Gambia which is the uh, river so you know it's alright their flag one of the honestly one of the better African country flags I will put it there now we have Guinea boring Boring, but better than the, the Texas imitation flag. So there's that. Next one I'm going to have to look up here. That is Equatorial Guinea, of course. Not I don't like it as much as Guinea's, honestly. No, JK. I like it way better than Guinea's. This is going to go right there. Similar, but I like the color scheme here better. Greece. Greece, to me, could easily be B or C. It's odd. It looks funky, but it's the only flag of its kind, and it's recognizable. So I'll give it that. And for that reason, it will be right behind there Guatemala it's like Argentina but slightly worse so that's where it goes another African country I presume but do I know the name of the flag or the country to that flag nope I'm looking it up right now who cares? Too irrelevant for me to care. Uh, it's above the te Texas imitation because it does a better Texas imitation. And if I've been saying this and you don't know what Texas flag Texas's flag looks like, now you know. See, this one totally does a better imitation. Good job. Good job. Oh, I, uh, hey, I found out what this oh, flag's name is. Is Granada. And my, my headset just powered off. Let's go, GG's. Does, I mean, I wasn't using it, so it doesn't matter. Um, Guyana. Kind of cool. I want, I want to see what Guyana's flag looks like on a flagpole. A flag. On a flagpole. Hopefully there's just one on a flagpole. There we go. Not, not too bad. There's Seychelles. Uh, you know, not bad, not the greatest. I'm going to put it right there, right above Bulgaria. I want to say this. Okay, so the next one's Honduras, which I don't know if this is intentional or not, but the two stars on the left and right with the one star in the middle looks like an H. I wonder if that's intentional or not. I like it better than Argentina. There's too many flags that look like that. There's actually a lot more than we're going to run into that look like that. But yeah, that's where it goes. Uh, Croatia, I believe. Yeah, Croatia. Um, it's all right. I am, I'm not a fan of its thing in the middle. 
I will put it uh, right below Egypt. Haiti, really bad in my opinion. Not a good flag. It's got messy stuff on it. And it sucks. Had the same flag as Liechtenstein. I have pronounced that as an American, as you can see. Which, uh, where is their flag? Right here. So both of them used to have the blue red, blue red. Haiti added that. Liechtenstein's added that crown, which makes it cooler. They have a better flag than Haiti. So, yeah, there's that. Hungary. Basic flags. Uh, better than Bulgaria. That's it. Poland. Yes. No. Indonesia. Poland's upside down. Indonesia. Not a good... Actually, hold up. Uh, there's another flag exactly like Indonesia's. Yeah, right here. So this one might be Indonesia. This one might be Indonesia. I don't remember what the other one is. But they have the same flag. It's just slightly different red. You know, the two-color concept is makes it better than some. But it's rather boring. I'm going to put it, especially since it shares a flag with an another country, it makes it pretty boring. I'm going to put it... Mm. Ooh, this is not it's not a good flag. We'll put it right. We'll put it right here. We'll put it right there along with that one. Same thing. And Poland, where are you? Yeah, you're going to go here as well. You know, you're at least you're different, so you go above those ones. Ireland, basic, pretty boring. Horizontal. All right. Vertical, I mean. It's a. Uh... Where did I? Yeah, I put Cote d'Ivoire here. I'll put, I'll put it right there. Israel, good flag. It's an A tier flag to me. Very recognizable. And I'll put it right. I'll put it right there. I think. Uh, this is not, uh, yeah, this is India. This is not India. This is India's flag. Never been a fan of the orange and green. As you can see here. But they, uh, yeah, it goes right there. I, I like this flag better than India's. I want to say this is, okay, this is Iraq. Bad country. Okay flag. I would say it's, uh, even though I like yellow, I th their flag's slightly better than Egypt's there, so. And this is Iran. Uh, it's messier. With its little design there. So, not a great flag. More original than a lot of these African flags. I'll put it there. You can see a pattern in these three. Um, Iceland. My favorite of the Nordic flags. So I'll put it at the top of the Nordic flags. And then Norway's my second. So when we get there, it's going to be right after Iceland. Italy. You know, just, it's, it's pretty bad. But it's better... Better than Ireland and Cote d'Ivoire. Jamaica. Jamaica is the only flag in the world of country flags to not have red, white, or blue in it. It's the only one. You can try to find one, but it's the only one. Um, I don't... I think it's still a B-tier flag. So I'll put it there. Oh, this is Jordan. Shoot. <laughs> What's this other one? Anyway, uh, I don't like Jordan's as much, but I'll put it right. Oops. I'll put it right there. Uh, you know, the other one is a country. Japan. Iconic. 
They don't. I mean, their dot is centered, unlike Bangladesh. But the color scheme is way better in Japan. Like, that's a very recognizable flag. Kenya's flag is very bad. We haven't put one in F in a while, but you know we're putting this here in F. It has to. It's pretty ugly. Uh, Kyrgyzstan. Simple. Messy. Simple. Decent color scheme. Um, I'll put it... I know I made this the basic flag spot. But it's, you know, it fits. It fits. Cambodia. Too messy for my liking. I do like it better than... Uh, uh, then the, these guys, though. I'll put it. Uh, honestly, I want to put it higher than that. I like it better than these. I know a lot of people put Cambodia at F tier, but it's more appealing to the eyes than a lot of these other flags. I don't know how to pronounce this country. It starts with a K. Their flag's actually pretty badass. Just messy. I'm going to put it right there. No, I'm I'm gonna put it higher than that, I think. This is a this is also a controversial placement, I'm sure. But uh, I actually quite like that flag. It actually kinda reminds me of British Columbia's flag. British Columbia. Oops. Columbia. Columbia flag. Yeah, so that's a British Columbia flag. And there's that flag. It's like Kiribati. I don't know how to pronounce that country. Uh, this flag is a flag to a country that I am looking for on the other page. That's all you need to know about that flag. Uh, not good. Two, way too many colors. It's, uh, honestly, it's right there. St. Kittis and Nevis. I like the diagonal. It puts it above other flags. I bet it looks cool waving around. And for that reason, it gets to be placed at the top of D. Congratulations. North Korea. Terrible, terrible country. Not a terrible flag. Uh, you know, it's got the, the skinny white lines in there. It's, uh, yeah. It's uh, even better than that, actually. Right there. South Korea. Pretty, pretty damn good flag. South Korea is. You know, it's very recognizable. It's an A-tier flag. I'm looking back on this. I'm still liking my S-tier here. I might add some more of these to S tier, but yeah. This. What is this? I used to know this one. Hold up. Stick with me here. Stick with me. Kosovo. Pretty cool to put your country on the flag. It's better than a, a good amount of the flags out there. But is it a good flag? No. I'll put it right above Czechia. Uh, Kuwait. Kuwait a minute. This looks like a lot of other flags. LOL. Uh, you know, they don't have the black on the top, though, so give them credit for that. They, they switched around their colors. So, GG. Kazakhstan. I do like the colors. It's way too messy for my liking. But it's really not that bad. The blue and the blue and yellow is is different for that area of the world. So I like it. Laos. It's kind of uh on the same boat as Cambodia for me, but surprisingly, I don't like Laos's flag as much as Cambodia. Uh I actually I kind of like that temple on Cambodia's. Lebanon. The tree is really bad. The color combination with the tree and the red, the green and the red, not good. And it gets placed right there. 
Um, what is? I know this. It's Saint Saint something. I actually do quite like this flag. Saint Lucille, I want to say Saint Lucia. Yeah, Saint Lucia, which actually it has a it has a a lighter yellow or I mean a lighter blue. Saint Lucia flag. This is their actual flag. So that's what I'm going to judge off of. And I actually quite like that flag. Um, that that's a V tier flag for me. I'll put it right below Jamaica. Liechtenstein, not good. Better than Haiti. Better than uh, a good amount of these in the F, but it's still F. S now, okay, this one I know is going to be controversial. I really like Sri Lanka's flag. Sri Lanka's flag is cute and quirky. Now, I want to, so you guys can get a full uh, effect here. Sri Lanka's flag on a flagpole. So you can see it waving around. Come on. That's pretty cool. You got a lion, a dragon, whatever that is, holding a knife. It's got the gold border. It puts a tear to your eye. Um, I'm actually, I'm considering, I'm going to put this higher. Some of you be, might be like, oh, what? Uh, this is, uh, yeah, I'm placing it there and I have no regrets. Ooh, I want to say this is Libya's flag. Let me check. Can't find it on the thing. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is Libya's flag. Uh, Libya was actually founded by freed slaves and so they copy the format of the American flag they also copied the format of the Constitution so that's kind of cool unfortunately though of course the American flag has good meaning it's pretty ugly in my opinion it's kind of boring it's messy too many lines so for that reason it goes in the middle of C uh, Malaysia is cooler I'm just gonna place all these next to each other now and of course America is the top of those three so yeah there is that Lesotho uh, not terrible it's got you know the three lines three three horizontal lines with the with a thing in the middle I put it just above India um, with Lithuania Pretty sure, let me, yeah, Lithuania. For this next flag. Yes, Lithuania. Three line flag. It's kind of got more of an orangey than a yellow, differing it from these African countries. A Baltic country here, one of three. On the other, uh, we've got to so far is Estonia put it right here Luxembourg uh, I like the light blue in Luxembourg's flag of course it is still very basic um, but I do like the light blue I'm going to put it mm, I'm debating putting it above Austria or not I will put it below Austria Latvia, the third Balt Baltic company, country. Uh, I like how its middle line is a little skinnier than the traditional three lines. For that reason, it is right behind Botswana. Libya. Wait, I said Libya for this other country, didn't I? Oh, uh, now I need to correct myself. I need to correct myself. It is not the other country I explained before is not Libya. It starts with an L. I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid, guys. I am not I'm not seeing it on this page. 
Liberia. You know what? I think I did say Liberia. So, yeah. Uh, this one is Liberia. This one is Libya. Libya follows the black, green, red, white of the Arab countries. But I think it does it slightly better than most. This one is like the most traditional, if you will, in my eye. So that's why that placement is what it is. I I can't say I've ever noticed this flag before. I don't know the country for it. It's not a good one. So yeah, that one's hard to place. Uh, I'll put it behind Laos. Shoot. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Too many countries look the same. I'll give that a GG. This might be Andorra. And no, this one's definitely Andorra, I want to say. Either way, they look the same. Montenegro. I like Montenegro's flag a lot. It is it is S tier. I like it more than Sri Lanka's. That's where it goes. Fight me. Here we have a flag. It's not a good one. I've said that a lot, but it's the truth. If I can't recognize your flag, then it sucks. It goes right there. This is the Marshall Islands. It's not bad. I'll put it right there. Bottom of C. North Macedonia. I like North Macedonia's flag. Is it the greatest? No. I uh, put above Bangladesh. I want to say this is Chad. Not a good flag. There you go. Taiwan. Congratulations on making it into this flag. Uh, to your list, Taiwan, although it's not a good one. It is, uh, yeah, it's just not a good flag. It's messy, it's boring. It, be it, it belongs, like, by the Liechtensteins of the world, right there. Mongolia. It's all right. It is all right. But it is not good. It goes right behind Belarus. And we got this country. I don't know <laughs> which country that is. Oh, I know a country that is. This is not the most updated version of it. So that's Mauritania's flag. Mauritania's flag now has red lines at the top and bottom. So I will show you that. So that's the old flag. This is the new flag down here. So this is their actual flag as of 2021. So that is what I'll be grading it on, which I do like it better than this one. So there's that. It'll go right behind, right there. Malta. Boring. Boring stuff. It goes with these guys, but you know, they put they it did a little something to differ themselves. This is uh more 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 TS. Don't know how to pronounce it. Right there. A little bit better than that. Not as good as that. Next flag. Maldives Maldives. I'm an American, that's how I pronounce it. Uh, right behind Mortania. Malawi. It's got the, the Arab colors, except for white. It's, uh, it's better than Belarus by a little bit. 
Mexico, pretty iconic. Pretty basic though. Uh, I'm going to put it. Wow, that might be controversial, top of D, but no. Yeah, top of D, it's not a good flag, I'm sorry. It's not a good flag. Mozambique. It's all right. I like the, the skinny white lines in it. It could go without that star on the left. And I'm pretty sure that's actually an AK-47 on the flag, so that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Yeah, I, it goes right there. We got another diagonal. This is Namibia. It's okay. I would say, you know, fittingly enough, it goes right there. I think you guys can see the relation here. This flag is India, but worse. This is Nigeria. It's like uh, Peru, but it's green. Uh, it goes in the simple flag area. And uh, I'll put it right above Luxembourg because it sticks to the two colors. This flag I want to see is El Salvador. It's, uh, yeah. Netherlands, put it right there. LOL, JK, I'm just messing with you, messing with you Dutch people. It goes in the basic flag area right behind Luxembourg because I like the, the light blue better. Norway, my favorite Nordic flag, or second favorite Nordic flag, I mean. Nepal, badass flag. S tier, of course. This picture doesn't do it justice. As many of you may be familiar with, Nepal's flag has a rather funky shape to it. So, for those of you who don't know, I'll look it up for you. Pretty much probably the number one search thing when anybody searches Nepal is their flag. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, the peaks uh, surprisingly don't stand for the mountains, because of course the tallest mountain in the world is in Nepal, but they the each one stands symbolizes the two main religions, Buddhism and Hinduism. So bet you didn't know that. That's what that is for. Nauru, pretty boring, but it's uh, a little bit different. Uh, I'll put it right there. New Zealand, bad. Um, they, New Zealand, they had a competition to change their flag. And they didn't do it. And one of the proposed ideas, so this was this was the most common proposed one, which is definitely better than their current flag. And it doesn't change it much. But they had a laser kiwi. This, this is an actual proposed flag for New Zealand. And they didn't choose it. Like that, it would easily be the best country flag in the world. Like it is so badass. But anyway. Yeah, that would have easily topped the list if they decided to change it to that. That's all I am saying right there. Uh, don't know which country this is for. Oman. All right, so this is for Oman. It's pretty boring. It's pretty basic. Uh, it goes right there. This is Panama's flag. Um, I like it better than that I like it better than a good amount of flags actually I will put it right above Jordan kind of an odd placement I know Peru basic flag horizontal not beating out vertical here but uh yeah there you go good job Peru Papua New Guinea or yeah Papua New Guinea it's got the, the, the star formation of Australia and New Zealand and Tuvalu and stuff like that. I like the I like the color combination. I will put it right there. 
Philippines. Let's go about the Philippines flag, which a lot of you might know, is when they're at war, they flip it upside down. So the red's on top and the blue's on bottom. Of course, this part looks the same. So yeah, for that reason, it goes higher. If you have a well-known reason for something quirky about your flag, it might get placed higher. I'm gonna put it right behind Bangladesh. Pakistan's flag, um, it's all right. I would uh, put it just below Laos. Portugal. Portugal's actually changed their flag a good amount of times. Um, it's recognizable, but it's not all that good. I'm going to put it right behind Mongolia. Palu, they do the same thing as Bangladesh. And they have a better color. So, yeah, I like the yellow and blue more than I like the red and green. So, there you go. Good on you, both of you countries, for moving your circle like that. It's cool. Paraguay. So, I mentioned this earlier. Paraguay. Flag. Flag. Paraguay is... Where's their flag? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It has purple in it, I swear. I swear. I was pretty sure it's Paraguay. Bruh. Rainbow. Not what I was looking for. There's a rainbow. I wonder if this got changed and I'm just like stupid. Because there used to be. Maybe it's not Paraguay. I was pretty sure it was Paraguay though. Well, let's pretend Paraguay does not have purple on its flag. And that it's another flag and I'll face palm when I see it. But, you know, it's a basic flag and it's got junk in the middle of it. It's messy. It's not a great flag. It goes here. Right there. This is a Qatar with a Q. Yeah, it, you know, it, it deserves to be placed there. This is either Romania or Chad, whom which have the exact same flag. It goes in the basic flag zone it is uh, not the best of the basic flags. Not even as good as Greece. I'll put it right above these guys. And where's the other one? Right there. There you go. Romania, Chad. Same flag. Serbia. Not a super big fan of Serbia's flag. Uh, yeah. It's not very good. Let's be real here. It's pretty bad. I burped. That was me. I'll put it right there. Russia. Basic flag. More recognizable than a lot. All right there. Uh, what is this flag? Good answer. Good question. Good answer. Don't know. I'm not finding it super quick. Uh, it's not. It's not great. It's a, you know, it's a flag. It goes. Yeah, it goes right there. Saudi Arabia, really weird. I don't like the words on it. I don't like the fact that it has words on it. I should say. I don't know what the words mean. Uh. It, you know, it's two colors. I'll give it that. And for that reason, I'll put it right behind China. This flag. Solomon Islands. Definitely didn't just look that up on the side. You know, it's got the diagonal going. I'll put it right above Palu, right there. Seychelles. I like Seychelles flag. It's pretty cool. It's got, you know, it's like, it's like a sunbeams. 
of course it's it's five colors which is odd um hit bottom of b i don't think too many people can complain about that you got sudan's flag very basic very basic middle eastern flag uh you know i'll keep it above panama sweden uh, fourth favorite nordic flag singapore you know goes above these guys with the blue and red or what the white and reds of the world slovenia it's where did i put serbia i like it less than serbia's slovakia I like it more more than Serbia's. Respectable spot for those three guys. This country. Oh, so before I mentioned my second most favorite to pronounce country, this would be my first, and it is Sierra Leone. Definitely the prettiest country name in my opinion. It's a basic flag, but I like the I like the blue over the red here, so put it there. Next one, don't recognize San Marino. It's uh, I like the two the two background colors, but I don't like the the messiness in the middle. I'm going to put it just above Croatia. I want to say this is Senegal. Yep, it is. Senegal does it slightly worse than Ghana. So yeah, uh, Somalia. It's not a bad flag. It's you know one one color background, one color star. It's not bad. Same reason Vietnam's gonna go up pretty high. Um, do I like it? I, I, I like it this much right there. This is Suriname. Suriname. I think it's pronounced Suriname. It's all right. It gives me Thailand vibes, but different color and with a star. And uh, I put it. I put it behind these guys. What is this? I should know this one. Is this is this say Tom and Prince? Uh, I have no fucking idea how to pronounce that. Goddamn. Anyway, it's showing. Yeah, it must be because. I wonder if they changed their flag. I am not looking that up. I can't be bothered to type that in. Uh, I like Mauritania's better. I like that one better. Do I like Iran? It's better. Actually, I'm gonna swap these two around. Yeah, oh, I'll put it right there. Oh, I think this is actually El Salvador. Oh no, maybe not actually. But uh, doesn't matter. It goes in that neck of the woods. Darker blue, puts it up slightly. I think this is Yemen. Let me check. No, it's close though. This is Yemen. Don't know what this is. Don't care. Uh, yeah, goes there. Eswatini. Wait, there's a lot going on here. And that's uh, not a good thing. Togo. Togo, which means something like by the water. And if you look at the country of Togo, It is mostly not by the water, actually. So, yeah. There's like a, a, a town called Togoville or something down here, which makes sense. But then like the rest of the country, not by water. So, yeah. It's also not a good flag. Mm, but where do I put it? I'll put it. 
I put it right there. Here's Thailand. It's a, it's, it's, yeah. Thailand's Thailand. Right there. Next one, Tajikistan. Also a fun one to pronounce. Good flag? Nope. I like this flag. Timor Lest. Sure, I'm sure I did not pronounce that correctly. It gives me that vibe, but I like it a little bit better than these ones. So there we go. Turkmenistan. Way too much going on here. This is certainly an F tier flag. Uh, honestly, it's worse than. Uh, those yeah it's worse than a lot of flags that's it's not a good flag tunisia basic basic and not bad we got the the moon crest with the star yeah we like we like bottom of b turkey yeah i'm skipping that one get fucked it's slightly better tonga it's like wants to be sweden but it doesn't do a good job at it uh corner corner flag I I really like to fill up D don't I yeah I guess so okay I will put it right there Trinidad and Tobago I I like it it's diagonal it's, it's red white and black kind of cool it's gonna be a I don't think many people would put this flag this high but I bet it looks Pretty cool on a flagpole. And that's what we're going to look up. Trinidad and Tobago flag on a flagpole. Look, that looks pretty good. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep it there. Uh, Tuvalu, bad, bad, bad flag. I don't know what to tell you. It's better than Belize. It's, uh, yeah, it goes, oops. It goes right there. You know, it's, it's better than Australia. It's got the light blue. This one's not better because that thing's way uglier than the stars. Wait one second. Wait one gosh diddly darn second. Taiwan. I I thought I already this isn't Taiwan. I don't know what this is. Taiwan's better. Oh, they're way too similar. My word. This one's got the stars instead of the sun. It's better. That for those who are interested is uh just kidding, don't know. Don't see it right away. This I should know this one. I should definitely know that country. Tanzania. It's, you know, it's diagonal. Uh, I don't like it better than this one just because of the colors, mostly. So I'll put it right there. Ukraine. Ukraine is a, got a similar reason for it. It's look the same way Eswatini does. The blue signifies the sky and the yellow is the wheat fields. Nonetheless, it is a very basic flag. Uganda, it's got colors I like, but it's really ugly. Put it right there. Uruguay, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It goes, it's above these countries. It goes right there. Uzbekistan, another country I like saying the name of. Uh, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan the second favorite. It's it's a pretty fun one to say. Of course, Sierra, Sierra Leone being the favorite. This one, this one gives me, uh, you know, it gives me a feel, a feel that it's not very good. India, you're better. Fake India, you're worse. Vatican City, second square flag. That gives it points. 
It is yellow. That gives it points. But that garbage on the right is very ugly. Uh, and for that reason, it is at the bottom of B at the moment, anyway. Uh, don't know this next flag. I'm not seeing it here on the right. It's okay, actually. I'll put it, I'll put it uh, right, right, come on, move there. Venezuela, better than Colombia and Ecuador, in my opinion. Uh, which, where are those? Okay, where the mess is, why can I not see Colombia and Ecuador? Am I a silly goose? I think I'm a silly goose. Why don't I see them? I could have sworn I had them right there. Wow, am I like blind for real? On God, okay, right there. My word, that took way too long to find. So I'll put it right there. Vietnam, I like their flag. Vietnam is a good flag, and it goes right there, respectfully. Uh, Vanatu, flag's okay. Flag is okay. Uh, put it. I'll put it right below Pakistan. Here's Yemen. It's a basic flag. Um, it uh, goes to the bottom of these Arab country flags right there. South Africa. Good flag. Good flag. Good job, South Africa. Best, uh, best African country flag right there. Yeah. Good job, South Africa. I'm proud of you. Zambia, this flag is terrible. Consider changing it. Uh, highly suggest uh, it does not look like this anymore. Uh, put it above it, these ones. But that is it. Zimbabwe. Also not a good flag. Hate to break it to you. Hate to be the one I have to tell you, but you're just above Zambia. And there you go. The much anticipated 182 country flags of the world in my preferred, preferred order right here for you to look at now moment of truth if i look at my obs and realize i haven't been recording this i'm gonna put a gun in my mouth and shoot it it's my lucky day i'm still recording and it didn't freeze so with that being said i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and game on brothers or sisters <laughs>